So what do I say? Do I say like, good morning? Good morning. It's nice. <laughs> no, that, I, I don't know. Anyway, I think that song says, it's nice to get up late or stay up late or get up late. Good evening. I don't know. Anyway, good morning. It's Terry Tuesday with the Smith and Bailey team and me, the First Lady Erica. So it's good to see you this morning, you guys. I love you. <laughs> good to see you guys. You guys. See you guys. See you, you guys. both. You guys. It's good to see you this morning. Lovely to see you all. It Lovely is. to see you all. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So we're going to have the some magic of technology. It feels like we're just here with you in your living rooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this morning, we are going to talk about imagination. But before we get started, I just wanted to say it just reminds me of the inner child, right? Or childhood where we had so much imagination and over time with work and school and money and bills sometimes all we can see is what's right in front of us but we have to escape that type of mindset and that mentality and get back to our imagination because we have to be able to live and see possibilities so terry and jonathan i will let you all Explain to us what we're doing this morning and why. Okay. Um, so from um, a physiological standpoint, we've got our left brain and our right brain. Our left brain is that logical part. And the right brain is the creative part. And that's where our imagination comes from. And, you know, we have a tendency to give more free to that logical part. But the imagination is so important because it's how we create possibilities in our life. You know, and so we, as children, we were always daydreaming and pretending this and pretending that. And as adults, we were, and as we got into the whole socialized and school system, all of that was sort of shut down and you know we couldn't color a purple tree or or a, a red tree everything had to be based on the logic of what we would what the parameters were allowing um but being able to go into that creative space which is our right brain and just see what are the possibilities we can bring that into our life and and that's how we create amazing things um you know anything that we see started off as a thought as an imagination and i think even with the way that um we have so much computer generated stuff now um it it has come from somewhere but you know it 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 creates more and more stuff and it's like there's some beautifully uh, cr um, computer generated uh things but the things that we create ourselves are more vibrant to a sense. It, it has a different kind of a life force to it. So what we'll do in, in, in um, the meditation today is we're going to just explore uh, allowing our imagination to just take us to these different places. And, and when we do a meditation, you know, um, when we do visualization, it doesn't matter what comes, you're opening up to possibilities and there's no right or wrong to it. And so where do those thoughts come from? They're coming from the vast or quantum field, if you want to, if you want to say. So the right brain is sort of like that doorway into the quantum field, into all possibilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, what do you want to say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, exactly. When you use your imagination, you visualize things. Uh, you, you're you're really giving that power to create. And so, you know, I can I just what was presented to the other side of that coin is you know you look around of how, what does what do everybody do when they're playing sports or they're doing something about visualizing to have there's going to be a meeting or they're going to do an event 
the visualizing or creating how we want this this event to transpire. So we're visualizing um, where we're going to be, parking spots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then when you get there, when you go into the event, you you know ninety percent of the time things will evolve kind of like how you were trying to perceive them, right? And the more detail you could bring to it, the more you can you can create it, right? Um, so it, it's just really keen on working with those visualizations. And I know Terry was talking about the, the programs, the AI programs that, that do visual um, uh, com computations for uh, or quantum computations for for situations, which is pretty interesting because exactly. there are some things that you can't you can you can internally think and create, and it's hard to put it out in paper or to bring it out to draw it or to to talk about it, and and that was just that was pretty interesting how you can literally say okay, see myself or this person in Egyptian times and they would come up with this crazy this this picture or this uh, quantum computation of of you in this what you would kind of be like or in those times so it's pretty interesting how it can do that and and when when I when I experienced this guy talking about it and displaying it um, you know it just it almost gives you a boost of of imagination. Gives you more more uh, repertoire, more ammunition, more things to pull from, you know, for color spectrum even, right? Because there are some pretty amazing colors that they create with some of that stuff. But it's you know it's always the balance. You know you don't want we think that well there's a portrayal of AI. This is this, but it's, everything has to be in balance, right? You know, nothing is more more elegant and more, you know, powerful than our mind, body, spirit in balance, right? So, mm. I love this because um, as a teacher of vision boards, a part of what we do is discuss the left brain and the right brain because the li right br left brain is logic. And so what I teach people is to combine your left brain with the right brain by using your imagination and using the colorful pictures, but also combining the words like affirmations or certain things on your vision boards. So to me, this is like the perfect meditation for the day. And um, another thing that I would say is to ask yourself questions. Sometimes we can't even imagine what we want because we need to ask ourselves more questions. And like you said, those specific details like color, what color is it? How big is it? Um, how tall is it? You know, how many, like if you were visualizing your home, how many rooms are there? You know, what does it feel like when you put your feet up against the floor? You know, what's the lighting like? We can get very deep and we have to get deep as we try to manifest in our lives. And here we are, you know, with this type of meditation to help you figure out exactly what it is you want in life. And I think, you know, you brought up a lot of key things. One thing is how we're just trained by others and society on our limitations. And so to remove ourselves from these limitations, and get back into imagination because we can't allow ourselves to be limited by the parameters other people set for us. Those are their limitations. When somebody says something is difficult or impossible, that's their perspective, that's, that's their reality. So how do we take back our reality? And I think this is the perfect way to get that started. If you feel clogged and you know, don't know where to start. I think this is the perfect place to start. Yeah. So I'm just going to say within the meditation that we'll do, I'm going to invite you to uh, pick up something. What does it feel like? And, you know, imagine how it feels. Imagine the color. If it's a color between, I don't know, between purple and red, 
it, you know, like what color is it? Is it a, a violet? Is it a magenta? Doesn't matter. It's like, what do you see? And there's no right or wrong. It's just possibility. And so, you know, we're going to go to, um, we're going to call it your secret garden. And so maybe there's going to be, I don't know, unicorns. Maybe there'll be dragons. Maybe there'll be, you know, um, uh, rainbow squirrels. It doesn't matter. It's just it's using that imagination and the creative process just to open up to possibilities because we don't live in a box. We think we live in a box. We have a whole the quantum field for to create from not from just a little box that we say this is what goes in the box expand your box break you the know. wall i'm gonna do it shante my cousin adam over in egypt hey. uh hey guys um there's also perrin i love perrin she's here in orlando with me and anyone else who's watching and anyone who watches in the future, um, we're just excited that you support us and join us. And thank you so much. I will move out of the way and allow Terry and Jonathan to begin this meditation. So Jonathan's going to start us off with some breathing and then we'll get into our uh, meditative process. All right. Just close your eyes. And just relax and just take some nice deep breaths and just at your own pace just allow that breath that wave flow through you from your stomach to your chest to your head and release back down just take two more nice deep breaths just allow that to flow through you. Now just, when you're ready, bring your awareness to your heart. And in this space, in this place, we inhale for three and just pause and just observe and feel the heartbeat yeah, you can visualize green, gold, pink emanating in this pulse, in this beat. And exhale for nine or six, whatever you feel. Now inhaling for three into this space, just observing, visualizing the rays of light that, that flow with and dance with the pulse of your heart, the beat. And pause for three and then bring your awareness to your root base of your tailbone and that spark that golden spark that reflects green and pink is mixed in with a little red iridescence of the rainbow and however it may shine and flow for you just inhale for three, weaving up the spine. And it trails and flows to the top of your head. Hold for six. Just observe how it feels within this space, safe space of you. Exhale out the flow like a waterfall down the front, your face, your chest, your stomach, down to your root. And just allow yourself to observe how you feel in this moment. Now, 
inhale up the spine for three. Pause, observe, feel the, red, the waterfall flowing all around. Exhale down the front to the root, to your feet. And then I'll inhale back to your root. Pause. Just observe. In this moment of zero point within each cell of your body, which in this golden space, this presence, just observe our bioenergy, our chi our life force, our awareness, our consciousness. In this communion, in this intention of really diving deep with Terry, Eric and I, observing our creative power of imagination, we inhale for three up the spine, Weaving, pausing at the eye of the mind for three, exhaling, allowing the walk flow through and down and around into your stomach and just hold in this space. Just express so much gratitude for this journey. So much love and joy for this moment. So much self-love for this connection. Here you are vibrating at your highest resonance to take us through into this journey mind, body, spirit, and guide aligned for this journey as Terry takes us away through the breach into the trail. So I'm going to invite you just to find yourself standing on the beach and you see the ocean, the water to your right and to the left, you might see hills in the foreground. You're just going to orient yourself so you're looking out, you're turning, and you're looking out at the two hills. And you're going to start to walk along the path that's flowing in front of you. And the path is beautifully trodden. And you walk, start walking along the path. And there's a slight incline as you start to move away from the beach. And you're moving towards the hills. You notice there's a little stream to your right. You're going to follow along the stream. And just notice What's along the path? Are there beautiful little wildflowers? What color are these wildflowers? Do you feel a breeze blowing around you? Do 
a little breeze catches a lock of your hair and a wisp of hair brushes over your forehead. And as you're walking along the path, you look up and there's a little rain cloud that has appeared. And all of a sudden, it's a shower, and you get the rain on your face, on your arms, and you laugh because it feels so good to have the rain fall on your face. Just imagine how it feels having the fresh rain fall on you. And now the little cloud passes and the sun comes out again. And the warm sun is on your shoulders and it dries the rain from your face and your arms. Just feel the warmth of the sun penetrating through the layers of your skin as you continue your walk. And now you come to a point where you have a divergence in your path. There's a path that leads to the left and a path that re leads to the right. And as you decide on your path, you're going to go to the right and cross a little bridge over the stream. And as you cross this bridge, you start to move into a beautiful forested area. And in this forest area, you take a deep breath and you breathe in the fresh evergreen scent. The little rain cloud was in the forest as well. And so you smell that freshly dampened soil and the freshness of the needles and on the leaves of the trees. And as you're walking through this forest, through the path, you see some beautiful, large rocks. And you stop for a moment just to observe the rocks. What colors are they? How do they feel? Are they smooth or are they rough? Do they have layers of rock? Are they a sedimentary rock? Or are they like a piece of granite? And you continue your walk along the path through the forest. And you sense that there are little animals. Perhaps you've seen a deer. Or maybe some rabbits. You can hear the birds in the trees. Or 
We're going to just continue along the path. And you come to a clearing in the forest. And before you, you see a beautiful garden. This is your secret garden. As you get closer to it, there's something familiar about it. And as you walk into the garden, you feel at ease as you start to recognize different pieces of the landscape of your garden. Notice the trees. Notice the flowers and the shrubs. Are there little animals or maybe big animals? What are the colors in your garden? Are there purples and greens, oranges and reds, blues and yellows, all the colors in between? Do the trees shimmer like gold? Is there an iridescence in the air? Do you see any butterflies? Do you see any dragonflies? And in the middle of your garden, there's a beautiful pool with a waterfall. It's waterfall is a water Eternity is from the creative source. This is your pool of healing, of rejuvenation, of imagination. If you feel, step into the pool and let these waters flow around you. Bathing you with whatever you need at this moment. Enjoy this time in this pool as you look around at your beautiful garden. Open yourself up to wisdom, to imagination, to healing. Allow the waters to flow through you and around you. Releasing any energies that may hold you back.
And now as you step out of the pool, there's a gentle warm breeze that dries you off. And as you step through your garden, you have a special guide that comes to visit you. It may be an animal, it may be a person, it may be a fairy being. Just listen to what this guide tells you about using your imagination. They tell you that the imagination lives within you. It is that creative spark that you, we were all born with. And they invite you just to become aware of that spark reigniting within you. And they suggest that whenever you think about them, that spark will ignite even stronger. And as you start to leave your garden, your guide tells you that they're always here and they invite you to come and visit the garden often. It's always there for you to explore, look behind the trees, behind the rocks, follow the paths. This is your garden and you've created it long ago. Discover at this time. And as you turn you fall and leave, you follow the path now away from the garden, back into the forest, following your path. Coming back through the forest, past the rocks. Walking along the path. And you come back to the little bridge. Lastly, the little stream. Where the two paths separated. Now coming back into one. and returning along the path. You feel yourself coming down the incline, walking past little wildflowers, and as you start to move back closer, you start to see the ocean in front of you. Coming closer and the beach. You find yourself back on the beach, remembering your experience. Just remembering 
this place, your special garden, how peaceful it was, and all the beauty that was there. You can bring that into your life. Anytime you wish. And we're going to start to bring our awareness back into this time and space, into our physical body. So feel yourself coming back into your body. Start to feel your physical body again, just by moving your fingers, moving your toes. Remembering those images of your garden. Start to move your shoulders, your arms. You can move your head from side to side. Feel yourself fully grounded in your body now. And take a deep breath in, holding it. Feeling your lungs and let go. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and welcome back. Well, how was your trip to your little special garden? <laughs> it was very, very pleasant. I, I have to say, like, every time I just really get such a sense of peacefulness, but fullness. And I don't know how to describe it any other way, but this fullness and... Uh, I enjoyed it. And I see things a little bit differently. <laughs> I see things a little bit differently. And I really enjoy the visualization. Um, yeah, very beautiful, very peaceful. And even if I come out of it, like your voice is so settling that it just I can come right back to it but I think that's part of what happens after you meditate over time right you can easily come back out come back in once you've been pulled out but yeah I mean, we, we, take you, we take you through that relaxation but really you know um you can start at any point but just breathe in and just get your get your rhythm down your your breathing slow and then just imagine going back to the beach or or going to the um going to your your garden i mean i've taken you through a little journey but you don't have to go through the beach and then go just say i'm going to be in my garden i'm just going to spend a few moments there and who are you there yeah, like, what kind of trees are they? Oh, I don't know. I never looked at it. Are there rose bushes? Are there um, magnolia trees? <laughs> you know, are there camellia bushes? Uh, yeah, you can have them all. You, you can smell, you can smell the gardenias. Oh, my gosh. I just, just the thought of it. I love gardenias. I smell the gardenia, you know. The, the, the smells can be so, you know, and one day you might go in and you might be smelling wonderful, wonderful, beautiful fragrances. The next time you may be seeing colors. And then the, another time you can bring them both together. You, you know, it's use your imagination and, and you don't have to just create from, from your senses to begin with, you know. Edna says hi. And Shantae said she really enjoyed it. And for me, um, I did see a lot of butterflies, a lot of flowers, saw a, a nice little snake, a lot of water and a lot of moisture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. 
kind of <laughs> makes sense to see a lot of butterflies since that was what last week yeah was, right but i mean as long as you know you said that you were able to go back in you know you know as long as you can you you can be in that relaxed mind and don't work yourself up when you're like oh i came out of it and like you get you know people think ah oh, now i can't go back but as long as you go back into your relaxation and just use your imagination your creation to take you back where you were then you like terry was saying you can just start wherever you want to you feel you need to start right mm -hmm. yeah and, and just like last week we went to that tree you can go to that tree. Maybe mm. that tree has a doorway that leads you into that garden. You know, imagine, mm -hmm. you know, there's nothing, there's nothing that says we can't, you know, right. yeah. we live in a world that says you can do this. You can't do this. You can't do that. Your imagination has no limitations. Mm -hmm. And everything here is made of what? It's light particles, right? At the cellular level, everything is light. So, you know, if you can, you can shift the vibration around you to alter your reality, to create, to bend spoons, to do telekinesis, and this and that. You know, it's just, it's just bringing that imagination into this consciousness field level, right? Hey, and maybe, maybe your garden is on another planet maybe that's a whole other idea <laughs> <laughs> let's get into some dolphins yeah there you go <laughs> a, you a water world, anything anything just yeah. like water just world play with it mm -hmm. yeah lovely Whoa. lovely well I'm going to say good evening to everyone. Thank you for joining us and we'll be back next week. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. And I did leave a link for us. You can check us out on Women of the Stars YouTube and see our whole list of brief meditations, how to tame the monkey mind. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually Solstice, mm -hmm. Equinox, all.